My name is Bill Fabricius. I'm an associate professor of psychology here at Arizona State University um, in the psychology department, and I do research on um, the role of fathers in the divorced family. Well, to, to make it as simple as possible, if children don't see their parent, um, in lots of different situations for reasons, they're susceptible to worry that the parent doesn't really want to spend more time with me. I mean, that's a childhood interpretation. So especially after a divorce, if suddenly one parent is absent from the child's life, um, you know, uh, uh, until every other weekend, for example, um, the child's at risk for thinking that that parent doesn't really want to spend more time with me and risk, at risk for thinking that maybe I don't matter that much to that parent. And we know from lots of research that we've done that these you know, doubts about how much I might matter to my parent set up chronic stress re uh, reactions that um, can damage long-term both mental and physical health. So we were able to um, do a comprehensive rewrite of the child custody laws in Arizona. Um, it went into effect in 2013. And um, the effect of the law has been that um, children have essentially equal time with mom and dad after their parents' separation, unless, of course, there are extenuating circumstances that make that unfeasible. Right, so we've been able to publish some uh, evaluations of how the law is working in Arizona and those have been noticed by um, people in policymakers in different countries. Uh, just most recently, we had a representative from the uh, Ministry of Justice um, in the Japanese government uh, because they heard about um, our experience here in Arizona um, and they knew about the research that I've done that was sort of the basis for that. Custody policy in Japan is made at the national level, unlike in the United States where it's a state uh, level policy. So um, the government sent um, this representative, um, who, he was a past uh, family law judge uh, working in the ministry now and spent a week here in Arizona, um, learned about the research we do here um, and also visited several courts uh, around, the, around the state, uh, had meetings and interviews with judges and attorneys and uh, mental health providers and court directors. Um, came away with a pretty favorable uh, you know, impression of how it's working. Um, he said that he heard no reports of any serious problems or concerns with the law. In fact, what he left with going to Japan from Arizona was pride and excitement in um, you know, how well this law is working for parents and children. It was especially gratifying to um, be involved with the law change here in Arizona because it was a statewide effort. Uh, we brought all the stakeholders together. Um, we, we changed several aspects of the law and took, took different people's you know, experience uh, into account. So it really was a group effort um, and consequently we had buy-in for it. Um, and so it's been very gratifying to see that, um, you know, the state's proud of it and that pride is being picked up um, across our borders. So, yeah. People are talking about Arizona as the leader here.